What's good, world? Welcome to Cook's World. I wanted to um, today shoot a video. Uh, I wanted to introduce the world to my 1993 Mazda Miata. Um, I'll give you the story of how I got this car, uh, the history of the car that I know so far, and uh, some future plans. So, first, let's go for a little ride. First off, what we'll do is hop in this thing, give it a cold start. It is a stick shift, as you can tell. We'll get back and uh, clean this thing up. I just gotta go for a run real quick. Get a little clutch. First things first. If you hear like an annoying hum, I gotta go through this thing and figure out what it is, but it's something, it just hums. It comes and goes. tedious I would say because it is you know stick shift but that's that's the fun that's the fun you get from driving so and the way the exhaust is the, the exhaust does um, it does have a drum it drums I guess you would say uh, but that's fun too and when it gets warm you can like flip the throttle and like it'll uh gurgle. It's essentially it's, it's almost like a, a backfire at the exhaust. And you get some real nasty like little pops.
you don't need to do all that going back down through the gears but it is fun and I just love fun with everything in life so serious you know you gotta have you gotta have fun Probably the world's worst car wash video ever. Like I said, I have to replace my windows. I broke this one. Um, I broke the, I guess the actuator inside or whatever. And uh, now it won't go up and down on its own power. I have to put it up and down. And I just found something like kind of hinky with this one. So it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I showed you guys the soft top in here. It's dry rider. It's the one that came with the, the actual glass window. Um, and from what I hear, they're pretty hard to come by, just like these soft tops are. Um, 500 bucks brand new, and luckily mine came with it. Um, that front bumper, same way, like five to six hundred dollars for like a racing beat front front end. Um, but luckily, mine came with it. Also on the front too, the uh, the turn signal, the turn signal deletes. I thought those were pretty cool too. Like I said, the car came with those as well. So those are the deletes. Just kind of lets, you know, air flow in there. And these are actually the turn signals. On the other ones, on like, I guess, stock ones, this whole piece is actually a turn signal. <coughs> and they just screw in. Like I said, I love this front bumper. Like, it's got like some little paint chips and stuff in there. And eventually I want to get around to repaint it. But for now, it serves me purpose. It serves, serves me my purpose. Oh, so back on the inside, eventually what I want to do is pop the seats up and redo the flooring. So if you can tell, and I know this car is very trashy and it needs to be cleaned up, but if you can tell, this is a, uh, like a bed liner material and the whole, the whole inside flooring is actually lined with this bed liner. So one day I have to get around to, uh, popping all of the seats out. We'll pop them both to the seat up and redoing the line on the inside. I think it'll give it a really good, uh, a good look, like a redo. Um, and it's so durable. Like a lot of times it rains and it gets wet in here. And because of that flooring, it protects it from the rust. Um, so it'll rain in here and I'll either take the top off and let it dry up or just take like a shop vac and vacuum it all out, vacuum the water out. So that's really no issue. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this car does have 224,418 miles on it. The guy is actually a good friend of mine. Um, when I bought it from him, I think it had, might have been 198,000 miles on it. Um, and I've been riding the heck out of it for the last two summers. And this car, you know, knock on wood, has treated me a1 it's treating me great um like i said it's it's, it's spiffy it's kind of quick um but it's still just a miata you know it draws a lot of attention because like i said there are no badges or markings on the car to say what it is so especially with that front end 
A lot of people don't know what it is, so they, they assume that it's like something really expensive, like an old model Porsche or something like that. Sometimes I go along with it. <laughs> but as for future plans for this car, what I want to do, eventually I want to lower it. So I don't really care for this wheel gap. Um, I don't have massive hands, but they're not tiny either. And I can get three fingers practically in there pretty good. Um, eventually, I want to, like I said, roll the fenders in the front and the back. I want to really drop the front. I almost want to give it like a rake, if you will, like the old school cars. Like they kind of set up a little higher in the back. They had like the fatter tires out back and they had like that rake to them, you know. Um, here's the back. I can get four fingers on the. That's just. That's just outrageous. That's got to go. But uh, but it does ride good, and the suspension is kind of soft. It's stock suspension on this car, um, which were actually pretty good springs, but they're old. So anything, even if it is pretty good, if it's pretty old, it gets worn out over time, basically. So I want to redo that. I want to roll the fenders, which I actually have a fender roller. Just got to get around to actually rolling the fenders. Eventually, I know my girlfriend won't like this, but I want to put like a stupid, dumb, big wing on the back. Or maybe, maybe just a little ducktail. The little ducktail wing kind of sits up like that. I don't know. I don't want to be basic. I want to stand out a little bit. I like to have something unique that's mine, you know? So when you see it, it's like, oh, that's Cook. <laughs> and there's no question about it. I mean, it's already unique anyway, but I want it a little more unique than what it is. Eventually, I want to get around to repainting it. Uh, I love, I love the color. And I probably, I, honestly, I'll keep it this color. Um, I just want the the little things like the paint chips and the where the paint is coming off. As you can see, this color is actually originally white. If you look inside the door jam, it's actually white. Um, so like I said, I really love this color and I'll probably actually go back to uh, my buddy who I got it from, his father-in-law, to get him to repaint the car since he knows the car inside and out. He took immaculate care of this car. Um, actually, when, when I bought it, the log, it was like a little small like notebook in there, like a log, like a service log almost, of how, like how, you know, he maintained it and everything like that. And he really, really, really maintained this car. He's had it since it had like 20,000 miles on it. And, uh, might maybe actually 90,000 miles. So he's had it for the last 100,000 100, miles. Um, he took really good care of it. He replaced the radiator, the uh, the clutch. Um, he serviced the engine, changed the oil, everything. He he took well, like very, very, very good care of this car. And I'll have to find that and actually put that in a later video. Um, but I want to take the same amount of care that he did for this car. Uh, I want to do the same, you know, keep this car running for some years. Mm. And eventually, like maybe it's like some carbon fiber splitters on the bottom. I think it would like some carbon fiber will go really, really good on this car. Maybe and then maybe like a like a rear bumper delete. If you guys watching, like if you know anything about Miatas and you see people like cut the rear bumpers, I think that's a pretty cool look. Once I redo the exhaust. Um, other than that, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. The wheels, maybe some different wheels, maybe some 15 by seven so they don't poke. But if I lower it and kind of like tuck these wheels, um, I'll like that look with these 15 by eights. So, and I don't want to go like extreme camera or nothing. I just want to lower it and kind of be able to tuck the wheels up, the tires up into the fender at least. And that'll actually complete the look. Like I said, you know, this is a pretty quick video. I just wanted to introduce you guys to my, uh, my little baby my little sports car and this is uh one one car in my collection like i said i hope you like it um uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video but if you like it subscribe to my channel uh brand new hopefully more videos to come and some more interesting things it's just an introduction to me and uh like i said this is Cook's World, and I'll catch you in the next one.